Hello. I hope everyone's having a great Sunday. Today I'm here at a client's house and I'm going to be harvesting Moringa. I want to show you guys the process of harvesting and then processing it so we could eat it. Here we go. So this Moringa plant's definitely an interesting one because when it was young it fell over and I wasn't here to pick it back up so it just decided to keep growing. So this is the Moringa over here. And I should have harvested it a while ago, but I was just too busy. And the uh, the trunks got so thick, uh, I can't have to come back with a saw because my pruners can't handle it. So, yeah, it's a beautiful plant. It had a seed pod actually. I just harvested this seed pod. So with this, we could grow more moringa trees. And the seeds are also used for, for purifying water. Very multi-purpose plant. So yeah, I'm going to harvest this moringa and show you guys what it looks like after. All right, so this here is the moringa harvest. And it's a bountiful one, that's for sure. As you can see here, there was a lot of flowers on it. These here are the Moringa flowers. They smell great, very beneficial. So yeah, it's gonna be a big harvest. And this is what the Moringa is looking like now. I left the uh, main trunk up. That's the tallest one. It has some flowers on it, it's going to make some more seed pods. And now the plant's actually going to do even better because all of its energy is going to go up through here and it's going to produce some more Moringa for us. Moringa is an amazing plant, I highly recommend it. Here I am with my Moringa harvest. I'm ready to head back to the van. And this is just from one plant. This Moringa is so abundant and this could feed so many people. I'm excited to head back to the, to the house and process this Moringa. Woo! All right, so before I continue and process this Moringa, I'm going to make a quick smoothie. These are the Moringa leaves. So it's going to be Moringa, almond milk, a banana, raw organic protein, vanilla chai, plant-based, and organic strawberries. Alright, so here we are in my messy garage. This is my workbench. I just got it all cleaned up. And now we're going to process the Moringa inside my Excalibur food dehydrator. Hopefully all that Moringa will fit. Here's a smoothie, it came out really good. I like this recipe a lot. All right, let's get to work. All right, so all finished now. We got the dehydrator completely packed. All the trays are full. Can't fit any more than this. You got one of them, another one, completely loaded with Moringa. So in 24 hours, we're going to have dehydrated Moringa and we'll blend that up to make a powder. Here's uh, the, some of the flowers from the Moringa and here's that seed pod that I showed you guys earlier. So. Yep, here's about 15 more Moringa trees. If I put this in the ground today, in a year from now, the tree will be 20 feet tall. So, just goes to show how abundant this tree is. All right, I'll get back to you guys once everything's dehydrated. Okay, so all the Moringa has been dehydrated. This is everything here.
All right, and now I'm going to blend it in this cup and make it into a powder and then scale everything. So this is what the finished result looks like. Fine powder. It's the unrefined and the refined. All right, so it's all been blended and sifted. So we're left with a fine powder for the final product. So this could be used in smoothies And the total weight is about half a pound, but the scale might be off. So looks like a bit more than half a pound. All right, so there you have it. That's how I harvest and process my Moringa. So this batch is going to go to the homeowner that owns the Moringa plant as well as my girlfriend's mom who has MS and she likes to put the Moringa powder in her smoothies every day. Thanks for watching.